Hello and welcome back to the tutorial series. Today we're going to look at creating lock traits using the mod constructor. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you can go back and look at them. They'll cover things like creating buffs and creating loots, aka actions. So to get started, we're going to click add element. And under beginner, you'll see on the right, lock trait. And you can name your lock trait whatever you'd like. For this tutorial, I'm just going to call this example lock trait. Lot traits in the game are very versatile. They can be used to give sims on a lot a certain emotion, control their autonomy, control what outfits they're wearing. There's a lot of things you can do with lot traits. So we're going to explore some of those today. Once you've created your example lot trait, you can give it a description. Then you can choose the icon. Now you can click on this little square here. And you can click through the game images to, to choose which icon you like to use. You can also use a mock constructor to click custom images and import a custom image from your computer. For example, if you click browse, you can select the image from your computer, then click import, and then you can choose that custom image. For this tutorial, we're going to choose just a random option from the in-house game images. Once you've chosen your icon, you can add a component. And I'll explain what each of these actions mean. Loot on enter. So this is an action that will happen as soon as you enter into the slot. So if you want it to have um, sims be sad as soon as they come onto the lot, you can use this. If you wanted them to change their outfit, you can use this. You can also choose a loot on exit. So if you want them to do something when they exit the lot. There's also a buff that you will receive automatically when entering and lose it when leaving. This one is probably the preferred one for buffs if you just want to add a buff. And there are also schedule loops if you want to run at a specific time. So if, for example, you want to create a club where between certain hours sims want to dance, you can do that. So let's take a look at all of these. Let's do loot on enter first. And again, at the bottom, you can add individually, remove, add multiple resource references, and existing elements. Existing elements are things you've created using Mod Constructor. Game resource references are things that are already in game. Now, I suggest using this instead of the add. Add, you have to click on it, click new loot, choose an option. It's very, it's very tedious. So I suggest if you're adding things from the game, use this. If you're using things that you created, use existing elements. Okay, so now we have all loot elements. And you can see there's a long list. You can go through and choose. Let's say you wanted to choose a person's character values. As soon as they come on the lot, anybody who comes on the lot, they automatically gain empathy. You can do that. Or anybody who comes on this lot, they automatically gain or lose reputation. Let's say, for example, you want to create a lot that was specifically for um, social media personalities. You can choose this option reputation and it'll, as soon as they come on the lot, it'll automatically increase that. Let's say you want to create maybe a seedy back alley place for criminals and anyone who comes on this lot is going to lose reputation. You can choose reputation loss. And that will happen as soon as they enter. Again, if you want to remove anything, you just click here and delete component and it will delete it. Buffs, lot buffs. Now, if we choose that option, you can see you can select, you can create a new buff or you can choose an existing one that you've created or a game reference. So I'm just gonna choose game reference, select. And here we have autonomy buffs. So let's say you wanted your Sims to work out. You wanted this to be a, a lot where Sims are encouraged to work out. You can choose that. And if you want to type a reason, you can. And you can add as many of these as you'd like. So let's say maybe we also want them to be romantic. We want them to work out on this lot. We also want them to be romantic. Okay, so more romantic socials. You can also choose emotions. They'll get a certain emotion here if you choose that. 
So, um, for example, there's mods where you can automatically have a sim feel a certain way as soon as they come on a lot. You can make them flirty. So let's add that one. Let's add one more lot buff. Create component. Choose game reference. Emotions. Currently flirty. So as soon as they come on the slot, anybody that comes on the lot is going to be flirty. They're going to want to have more romance socials. And they're also going to want to work out. You can do a lot of things with this. Uh, with buffs, buffs you can use them to change outfits, to give some certain emotions, and all sorts of things. As far as schedule loops, when you click on that, you can add values. And then you'll see it, it drills down. You can choose the date and the time. So let's say on Fridays, you want this to have... Um, a certain thing happens. You can click loot action. And then if it's something in the game, again, you can choose this. You can just go through and pick something. You can choose an existing resource that you created, or you can create a new one. And you can use once. Once if selected sim is on a lot. Once if any sim is on a lot. You can apply to all sims, the selected sim only, or random sims. So you can do a lot of things with this. Let's say maybe on Fridays, you want Sims to fight. So you can go in here. You can choose fight. You can basically choose and fight with. And it'll kind of encourage Sims to fight. You can choose maybe a random Sim on the lot on Fridays for a certain time. You can kind of play around with this. You can get a lot of things out of it. Under the general section, walk bys. So this create um, this creates the walk by sims in the background that are walking around the lot. So you can choose situations by day. So let's say you only wanted them, you want to only want to walk bys on a certain day. You can choose that if you want them every day. And then you can choose the the start hour. So when at what time do you want the um, sims to start? coming onto the lot walking by if you let's say if you said 12 they only won't start coming at 12 o'clock and then you can choose the amount the minimum amount and maximum so maybe zero to so in this case i can change it to minimum of five sims maximum of 10 and then situations again you can choose for multiple situations already in the game or you can create existing elements And walk by. So there's already walk bys in the game that you can choose from. So let's say you want it to do teenagers. You can use that one, ambient teenagers. So you'll have at least five and a maximum of ten walking dead by every day of the week on this particular lot. Once you're ready to export your trait, you can click export package. And then you can choose your mods folder. And you can save your trait. Now we're going to look at our sample trait in game. Okay, so we're in the game and we have an outdoor gym I placed down just from I got from the gallery. And you'll see the lot trees I already have. I'll just take them off. And I'm going to add the example lot trait. Now this is when I created. Okay, so now that I've edited the lot, I'm going to take the sim that I have created and I'm going to visit the lot using that particular sim. Okay, so now our sim is on the lot. We're just going to wait until some sims show up. Okay, so now we're back in game and we have sims on the lot. My sim just automatically started playing basketball. Another sim just automatically started coming from talking to her. So the autonomy is kicking in. It's, it did make my sim start playing basketball.
and it is having them introduce each other and use some of the r romantic socials. So that's just a quick example of how to make lot traits. And in the next tutorial, we'll be covering some more aspects of the mock constructor. Thanks for watching.